Against all odds, the soldier's still alive. stakes are a little bit higher. His body will only compensate for the blood loss and the shock that ensues, you know, post a traumatic blast. Once the body's done compensating, it drops off, and you need to hit that drop off. There's little that can be done, really. The soldier's foot is gone. Thomas checks the vital signs. They have to monitor him closely after waiting for so long. Going into shock is now a serious risk. He could crash at any moment. I don't have me or other. Chris performs a blood sweep, searching for other injuries. There are none, but he needs blood transfused immediately. Finally, the IV is in. Blood flows into the wounded soldier. The PJ stabilized the soldier in flight, giving him the best chance for survival. Questions remain how the mission was handled. Well, since since the time of injury, 0915, um, it's uh, two hours, 45 minutes. I, I think there's going to be some frustration. No one talked about it on the ground, but I still kind of feel like we should have gone there and checked it out. I think would have felt okay to land there. As far as I can try to hit a degree. The guy was messed up, but it's pretty standard for what we're seeing out here, what we're doing. It was just waiting around to get in there. You know, because I, I sat there and I was thinking, I was like, He's got a tourniquet on. You say he's still bleeding? And he's still bleeding. Tell, Tell him, him to put another one on. Yeah. Put another one on. Pack it. That guy was a tough, tough guy, man. So he's bleeding out for like two, uh, two and a half hours almost. Uh, something I brought up from, you know, before we got on the objective. What do you guys, do you think we should have done a flyover? After every mission, the crew debriefs. Every aspect of the mission is examined. I would have felt pretty confident that no one would have been crazy enough to walk up to that cop and put an IED right in front of it. Thomas doubts the seriousness of the IED threat, which led to the critical delay. I mean, I understand, yeah, there's the risk at the Afghan. Like, it could be a setup, and there could be, they could just be blasting us. But when we landed, as far as my index of suspicion, yeah. I wasn't super worried about it. I think we should have done a flyover. 